as a young child, I was always drawn to nature. And I was born in the south of Holland. You have a lot of woods in, in Holland, in the south of Holland. So I was always going to the woods, making huts and looking at the animals. And when I became 12, 13, I even started taking pictures of the birds and all the animals there. 22 years ago, I arrived on, uh, on Aruba. When I arrived, the first memory I have was like, wow, this ocean is unbelievable. How beautiful is this? And uh, after a year of snorkeling, I got into diving because uh, somebody said, why don't you do this in the water course? And uh, wow, this was something else because you were first you are floating. This whole new nature opened up and fishes and corals and animals I've never seen before. So that's, uh, that's how I started. Dan is a, um, well, he, he is a very, um, he is a dive instructor. When you dive a, a, a lot with people, you know them and you know it's okay, I'm gonna call Dan because yeah, that's, that's an easy dive. <laughs> because actually while diving, you have to take care first of yourself. That's the most important. And, um, and then you can take care of your body. There's always something can happen. And the, 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 the least thing you want is that there is panic. On the water because when you panic and you're 20 meters on the water you're not gonna survive 21 years ago we didn't see um, see lionfish a big aquarium in the, in the in the south of florida broke at about 12 lionfish got up in the ocean and they started reproducing like crazy the lionfish are not easy to get because they tend to go deep the population of lionfish is growing and they are attacking our reef. It's important that, that um, people who hunt the lionfish that we're going to work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Being on the water, you have this noise, this you breathing, your, your, your own breathing, what you hear. The underwater life is, is, is something you hear, but it's not like overwhelming. You, you appreciate more what's there on the water. You get this appreciation for nature. Uh, your buoyancy has to be like perfect, and then you can easily, more easily kill the lionfish. The lionfish don't they don't swim away. If you take your time and you go slowly, you can go come very close and you can kill them. I've been up to clo up close to with a lot of turtles, for example, and sharks. But my most special moment was when I was diving with friends and the big manta ray approached us. It started an interaction. This, this beautiful manta ray was in, in between us, like this, and stayed with us like 10 minutes. Beautiful moment. There's only one good thing from the lionfish, and that is delicious meat. When I cast a, a lionfish, normally I invite some friends, I cooked it up and we ate, because the lionfish is delicious to eat. Well, the idea started from there that I was going to sell them from a house, so I started to build a snack truck beside of my house. Well, my mother worked in a, in a market in the south of Holland, and uh, she sold fish. And um, in Dutch it's called kibbeling but in English it's called fritters. The American lady tried it for the first time. The, the lady said, it's better than the grouper. So uh, I think so too. It's, it's a very good fish and it's very flaky. It's, uh, it's nice to eat. This invasion say it's a, it's a really big problem. And the only way we can get rid of this problem is that we all can start eating it. I think it's time that we can start protecting our ocean.